Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question sum of left leaves. Alright, so in this question we need to find the sum of all the left leaves in a given binary tree. So we're given this example of the left leaves are about 9 and 15, so we return 9 plus 15 which is 24. Alright, so real quickly let's just look at a few examples and then let's see how we can solve this question. Okay, so just going back to the example we had, 3, 9, 20, 15, and 7. So in this binary tree, what are all the leaves? Well, the leaves are basically the endings of our binary tree. So in this case, our leaves would be 9, 15, and 7. And what do we add? Well, we only want the left leaves. So in this case, that's actually only going to be 9 and 15. So in this case, we're going to add 9 and 15, and we end up getting, what is that, 24. Okay, uh, and just to show you another example, let's say we add... Um, 100 over here and we have a value of 10 over here. So now what are our leaves going to be? Well in this case the leaves are going to be 100, 10, 15 and 7. So which ones are we actually going to end up adding? Well it's going to be the left one. So in this case 115. So we're going to do 100 plus 15 which equals to 115. So this is what the question means and now let's see how we can solve it. Okay, so I'm just going to stick with this example over here, 3, 9, 20, 100, 15, and 7. And the answer is, well, 115 since 100 plus 15. So how could we solve this? Well, we need to uh, iterate through our tree, and we need to look for whenever we find a left leaf. So how can we do that? And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to solve this using uh, the breadth first search. You could use depth first search, but I'm just going to do uh, a BFS. All right, so for our breadth first search, we're going to have a queue, right? And the queue is going to start off holding the value of the root. So over here, we're going to go to the root. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check uh, if it has, has a left node. So in this case, it does have a left node. And then we're going to add that to our queue. So we're going to add 9. And over here, we need to check one more thing. We need to check if 9 is a leaf. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to check if 9 has a left node or a right node. So if either of those are true, then that means it's not good. Then we're not going to add that value to our sum. So we have one more variable called sum, which starts off with the value of zero. So, so far we don't have anything. And so after doing that, we're going to check if three over here has a right node. So in this case, three has a right node of 20. So now we're going to add that to our queue. And that's it for uh, three. So we're done with three. So we're going to just cross that out. Okay, so now we're going to pop out nine. So we got 9, and we're going to do the same thing. First, we're going to check if it has a left node. It does. So we're going to add that to our queue. And now we need to check if this node is a leaf. And to do that, we need to see if it has any left children. Well, it does not have any left children. And it also does not have any right children. So that means that 100 is a left leaf, right? So in this case, we're going to add that to our sum. So 0 plus 100. And that's the end of that. So now we're going to check if 9 has any right nodes, and it doesn't. So we're done with 9. Okay, so now we pop out 20. So now we're going to check if 20 has a left child. It does, which is 15. So we're going to add that to our queue. And we now we're going to check if 15 is a leaf. And 15 is a leaf since it does not have any left or right child. So we're going to add that to our sum as well. Okay, and now we're going to check if 20 has any right children. It does have a right child, uh, which is 7. And since it's a right child, we're just going to add it to our queue. Um, and yeah, so now we're, we'll go through everything in our queue one last time. So we have 100. It has no children, so we're done with that. And then 15 has no children. And then finally, we have 7, which also has no children. So now we're done. And this is going to be our sum, 0 plus 100 plus 15, which is just 115. And that's the answer that we were looking for. So let's see how this looks like in code. And yeah. All right, so since we're using a queue, we need to initialize our queue. And we could just use a list for doing that. But the problem with that is that it has a lookup time of big O of n. So to solve that problem, we can just use dq from collections. So let's import that. So from collections, import dq. All right, so we're going to start off with our queue being dq. And what is our queue going to start off with? Well, the first thing that we're going to have inside of our queue is going to be the root. So we're just going to put the root inside of our queue since that's what we're starting off with. And before this, I'm actually going to put an if condition. So first we need to check if the root even exists. So uh, if not root, so if our root does not exist, 
And in that case, we're just going to return 0. And after we do that, we're going to also hold our sum variable. So I'll just call it results, and it's going to start off with the value of null 0. OK, so now we're going to go inside of a while loop. So we're going to stay inside of this while loop until we pop out everything inside of our queue. So now we need to pop out the element. So I'll just call it node. And that's going to be q.popLeft. And what popLeft does, it pops out whatever is on the leftmost, or in other words, whatever is at the zeroth index. OK, so now that we have our node, we're going to do the two things. First, we're going to check if node.left. And if node.left, so if it does have a left child, we first we're going to append that to our queue. So queue.append node.left, OK? And after that, we need to check whether that left node is a leaf. So to do that, we can do if node uh, if not node.left left. So what node.left left is, we're first going to the left node, left child, and then we're checking if that child has any left nodes. So if it doesn't, and if it does not have any right nodes, and to do that, what we're gonna do is we're, we're going to do node.left. So first we go to that node, and then we check if it has a right child. And if that's not the case, then that means that we found a left leaf, and we're going to add that to our results. So result plus equal to node.left. And then we want to get its value, so node.left.val. And we're getting all of these attributes from this uh, class, which was already defined for us. OK, so now that we checked it if it, whether or not it has a left child, now we need to check if it has a right child. So if node.right, and if it does have a right child, then we're just going to append that to our queue. So we're going to do queue.append, sorry append and then we're going to be adding the right child not that right and that should be it so we're going to go inside of our while loop until we get everything outside until our queue we, until we pop out everything inside of a queue and our queue ends up having a length of zero and after that all we're doing is we're going to return our result so return res now let's submit our solution and let's see what happens and as you can see our submission did get accepted and finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions or if there are any specific lead code questions you want me to solve. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.